Good evening, friends. Welcome to another Word of Gord. Good evening, any potential enemies, too. I'm aware that some of you feel my uh, videos are worthy of criticism. In fact, I've even met some people who think my videos are well worth putting down and avoiding. That one just the other night. Interesting uh, encounter. And, um, so if you feel that all talk of uh, out-of-body experience and spirituality, maverick spirituality that exists outside the approved channels of church, temple, and ancient sacred books, I would suggest you turn off now. You're only going to hear a lot of heretical notions about this, that, and the other that your minders will not approve of. So, for the rest of you who are interested in catching up on the uh, 21st century updates on pretty much everything that the mystery schools taught from ancient Egypt and Greece all the way down couple of thousand years to now, you're at the right spot. And as arrogant as it may seem, I am something of a one-man mystery school. And it's the, it's the new vibe, it's the new thing, it's the update of all esoteric teachings brought to you <laughs> the comfort of your own home, your own car, your own little glare that you may be staring at on your journey to and from somewhere or other. Now, we were talking about the astral plane parts one and two of this series, and uh, this of course is part three. Just in case you were wondering, it is indeed part three. Now, uh, what goes on in the astral plane? Well, a good deal of afterlife experience is what goes on there, before life and after life. The astral plane is one of several planes of spirit beyond the physical plane. That's the one we're living on now, just in case you're wondering. The people about to be born and the people who are just passed on or have passed on many years ago, they're all there in one of the various locations, one of the various foci of consciousness. There they are, having their lives living their loves, pursuing their desires, totting up their accomplishments and their lack of accomplishments in the last earth life. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of sitting down as I'm sitting down now and going over their childhood, their youth, their young adulthood, their education, their career, their family, Fears, doubts, relationships, successes in relationships, failure in relationships, their ability to handle money, power, status, position, hierarchy, all that sort of thing. There's a lot of sitting back and considering on the part of dead people who are in fact just as alive as you and me, if not more so. And when I'm there talking to them, they look just as real as I look to you or as you look to each other. And when you 
you touch the wall or the carpet or the chair or the home in the astral plane. Because you are in your astral body when you're there doing it, you are vibrating at the same level approximately as that wall, that chair, that bookshelf. just as real as the physical plane embodiments of our needs and desires. Do not confuse the astral plane with your derived notions of ghosts on the physical plane. Those ghosts can and do move through walls, ceilings, floors, windows, etc. Because they are vibrating at a much higher rate than the physical wall, the physical floor, the physical window. And when you are out of body, you will also vibrate at that level. And, and that is why those of you who remember bits and bobs of fairly lucid dreams, completely lucid dreams, dreams hardly lucid at all, will remember such strange events. Such strange, discomforting events as passing through a wall and feeling the texture of it, passing through the window and feeling the slightly thinner texture of glass, swimming in water, as one does sometimes when one is out of body. It's quite fun. And the one that most people seem to remember, flying, the joy, the thrill of flying. That is something very many souls do when they are their body at night. It is perhaps the most popular activity. The second most popular, I would say, is uh, discrete sensual. much of that that goes on. Trust me. Even if you don't believe me, it is true that our book is written on this. If I uh, had enough uh, nerve, I'd stand up and get one couple from the bookshelf right behind me. Maybe another time. Now, in the paradise worlds, which are the ones beyond Not so nice ones below the purgatorial realm that the Catholics like to call them. The, uh, not quite in between realms, but the ones where people are still heavily working on their issues of guilt and fear, remorse, and yada yada. Anyway, the paradise realms are exactly that paradise. People are having fun, big time, indulging all their desires pleasure and joy and fun and happiness, whether it be water skiing, playing yuppie, ballroom dancing, learning to make quilts, and learning to fly, fly appropriately and well and not bump into things, which doesn't hurt very but it's, it's embarrassing. Paint, sculpt, dance, sing, all these things can be practiced and improved upon in the astral plane. In the paradise worlds of the astral plane. There is much going on there that would be familiar to those of you to Spain or Greece in the winter, when your own country is filled with snow and ice, and you can peel off and sunbathe and swim and eat great meals, three 
items of any. There's plenty of that. There's plenty of family reunions. There's plenty of families doing things together. Just the way you would do things here. Reuniting with dead grandparents and parents. Doing things together that almost, almost everybody would like to do. Together, except with that extra flair and excitement of being in a light body and being able to float from place to place or fly from place to place or teleport from place to place. Yes, that can be done. You can move almost instantaneously from one side of a valley to the other or directly across the large. Now, the mention of ocean uh, reminds me to uh, say that every country, physically, every landscape, every landscape feature, whether it be river, mountain, valley, field, meadow, waterfall, fjord, everything is replicated on the astral plane. There is an astral plane. France, an astral plane Egypt, an astral plane China, an astral plane Canada, an astral plane Argentina. It's all there. And you will go to your comfort zone. You will more than likely live in the astral plane version of the country in which you live your physical plane. You are welcome to move anywhere you comfort level is often in one's home country, at least home for the last incarnation. Uh, as you spend more and more time on the astral plane, although the time is not really a factor there, you will uh, often, not always, start to recall past lives and other countries and wish to explore those even if it just means going through the landscape or passing through the astral plane cities and towns, of which there are many, many. There's astral plane London, astral plane Athens, astral plane New York, astral plane Little Village, or still Vermont. It's all there. They're not exact duplicates by any means, but you will recognize. likely feel fairly comfortable there. If you're a country person, you'll seek a country location and you'll be comfortable there. If you're a town person or a village person or a city person, you will find the equivalence that you need for your continuing joy and education. Now I'm just touching the surface there, but it's a good place to be going to, the surface from the surface to the interior next time. And I'm glancing at a clock on the wall over there and I'm thinking, fifteen minutes just about up. So I will bid you farewell and we will look forward to part four. We'll be seeing you.